Britain's Role in the Iraq War The Iraq War, often framed as a mission to disarm a rogue state and liberate its people, was underpinned by far more cynical motives, particularly from the British government. While the public was told that the invasion was a necessary response to the threat posed by Saddam Hussein's weapons of mass destruction, the reality was far more complex. The British government, led by Prime Minister Tony Blair, was driven not only by fears of global security, but also by a desire to maintain the United Kingdom's special relationship with the United States and to secure its own position in the rapidly shifting post-9-11 world. This alignment with American interests, even at the expense of international law and public opinion, revealed a willingness to compromise moral principles for political gain. The Iraq War, initiated in 2003, is one of the most controversial conflicts in modern history, and Britain's involvement in the war has been a subject of intense debate. The decision by the British government to join the United States in the invasion of Iraq had far-reaching consequences not only for the people of Iraq, but also for the international reputation of the United Kingdom. The political context of Britain's involvement in the Iraq War can be traced back to the post-9-11 geopolitical landscape. The terrorist attacks on September 11, 2001, dramatically altered international relations and the global security environment. In response, the United States, under President George W. Bush, declared a war on terror, which included targeting nations that were perceived as threats to global security. The United Kingdom, under Prime Minister Tony Blair, was one of the closest allies of the United States. Blair had established a strong personal and political relationship with Bush, and this relationship played a significant role in Britain's decision to support the invasion of Iraq. Blair believed that standing shoulder to shoulder with the United States, was essential for maintaining the UK's influence on the world stage and ensuring its security. However, this unwavering commitment to the transatlantic alliance came with a heavy price, both in terms of human lives and the integrity of Britain's foreign policy. The case for war was largely based on the belief that Iraq, under the dictatorship of Saddam Hussein, possessed weapons of mass destruction, WMDs, and that it had links to terrorist organizations like Al-Qaeda. These claims were central to the arguments made by both the Bush administration and the Blair government to justify the invasion. The primary justification provided by the British government for the invasion of Iraq was the threat posed by Iraq's alleged possession of WMDs. The government argued that Saddam Hussein's regime had consistently flouted United Nations resolutions that required Iraq to disarm and allow inspections of its weapons facilities. The belief that Hussein was hiding WMDs and could potentially use them against the West was a powerful motivator for the invasion. However, the intelligence used to support these claims was later revealed to be deeply flawed and, in some cases, exaggerated to fit a predetermined narrative of war. The Blair government also highlighted the need to uphold international law and the credibility of the United Nations. Blair argued that if the international community failed to act against Iraq, it would send a message that defiance of international norms would go unpunished. This argument was used to gain support from both the British public and parliament. Another justification for the invasion was the idea of regime change. The Blair government contended that removing Saddam Hussein from power would not only eliminate the threat of WMDs, but also pave the way for democracy and stability in Iraq and the broader Middle East. This argument was rooted in the belief that democracy would naturally lead to peace and prosperity in the region, a notion that was later proven to be overly simplistic and disconnected from the complex realities on the ground. Britain's military involvement in the Iraq War was significant. The British armed forces were a key component of the coalition that invaded Iraq on March 20, 2003. The UK contributed around 45,000 troops to the initial invasion, making it the second largest contributor after the United States. British forces were involved in a range of operations, including the capture of key cities such as Basra in southern Iraq. The British military played a crucial role in the initial phase of the war 
which saw the rapid overthrow of Saddam Hussein's regime. However, the situation in Iraq quickly deteriorated into a complex and bloody insurgency. British forces found themselves engaged in counterinsurgency operations, particularly in the southern provinces of Iraq, where they faced challenges from both Sunni and Shia militias. The British government faced significant criticism for its handling of the military campaign, particularly in the post-invasion phase. Critics argued that the UK, along with the US, had failed to adequately plan for the aftermath of the invasion, leading to widespread chaos and violence in Iraq. The lack of a clear strategy for rebuilding Iraq and establishing a stable government contributed to the protracted conflict that followed the initial invasion. The failure to plan for the power vacuum left by Saddam Hussein's removal, combined with the deep sectarian divisions within Iraq, created a breeding ground for extremism and violence that continues to plague the region to this day. The decision to invade Iraq was met with substantial opposition, both within the UK and internationally. In the lead-up to the war, massive protests were held in cities across the UK, with millions of people expressing their opposition to the conflict. The largest of these protests took place in London on February 15, 2003, where an estimated one million people marched against the war. This event remains one of the largest public demonstrations in British history. The opposition to the war was not limited to the public. It also extended to Parliament. Despite Blair's efforts to secure parliamentary approval for the invasion, a significant number of MPs from both the Labour Party and the opposition parties expressed their concerns about the legality and morality of the war. In the end, Parliament voted in favour of military action but the divisions within the political establishment were clear. The controversy over the war intensified after the invasion when it became apparent that the WMDs, which had been the central justification for the war, did not exist. The failure to find these weapons led to widespread accusations that the Blair government had misled Parliament and the public. The issue of WMDs became a focal point of criticism leading to a significant erosion of trust in the government. This erosion of trust extended beyond the realm of foreign policy, impacting domestic politics and the public's perception of government transparency and accountability. The long-term implications of Britain's involvement in the Iraq War have been profound. The conflict had a devastating impact on Iraq, resulting in the deaths of hundreds of thousands of Iraqis and the displacement of millions more. The war also contributed to the destabilization of the region, with the rise of extremist groups such as ISIS, which emerged from the chaos of post-invasion Iraq. The power vacuum left by the removal of Saddam Hussein, combined with the disbanding of the Iraqi army and the debathification policies implemented by the coalition, created an environment ripe for the growth of insurgent groups and sectarian violence. For Britain, the Iraq War had significant political and social consequences. The war severely damaged the reputation of the UK on the international stage, leading to a perception that Britain had acted as a subordinate to the United States rather than as an independent global power. The war also had a lasting impact on domestic politics, with the Blair government's popularity plummeting in the aftermath of the conflict. The deep divisions within the Labour Party, the erosion of public trust, and the lasting stigma of the Iraq War have continued to shape British politics long after the end of the conflict. The Iraq War also had legal and ethical implications. The Chilcot Inquiry, launched in 2009, was an extensive investigation into the UK's involvement in the war. The Inquiry's final report, published in 2016, concluded that the decision to invade Iraq was based on flawed intelligence and that the military action was not a last resort. The report was highly critical of the Blair government, particularly its failure to adequately assess the consequences of the invasion and to plan for the post-war situation. The findings of the Chilcot inquiry further fueled public and political debate about the Iraq war and the role of the UK in it. 
The inquiry's conclusions reinforced the perception that the war had been a mistake and that the British government had acted recklessly in its pursuit of regime change in Iraq. Britain's role in the Iraq War remains a deeply controversial and divisive issue. The decision to join the U.S.-led invasion was driven by a combination of strategic considerations, political alliances, and a belief in the necessity of removing Saddam Hussein from power. However, the justifications for the war were undermined by the failure to find WMDs and the subsequent chaos in Iraq. The long-term implications of the Iraq War have been significant for both Iraq and the United Kingdom. The conflict led to immense suffering in Iraq and contributed to the destabilization of the region. In the UK, the war damaged the credibility of the government, eroded public trust, and sparked a long-running debate about the ethics and legality of military intervention. As the legacy of the Iraq War continues to be debated, it serves as a cautionary tale about the consequences of military intervention and the importance of rigorous scrutiny and accountability in decision-making at the highest levels of government. Britain's role in the Iraq War is a reminder of the complexities and dangers of international conflict and the far-reaching impact of decisions made in the corridors of power. The Iraq War serves as a painful reminder of the cost of political expediency and the dangers of unchecked power. It is a chapter in British history that will forever be marked by the lives lost, the trust betrayed, and the stark reality that those in power can, and sometimes do, act with motives far removed from the values they claim to uphold. The emotional toll on the families of those who fought and died, the people of Iraq who endured unimaginable hardship, and the citizens who believed in the justness of their government's actions, is immeasurable. The scars of this conflict are a testament to the need for accountability, honesty, and a true commitment to peace. Lessons that must never be forgotten.